with prodigious peak. This must be the place. Just so you know, if you're into peaking duck play, I need 24 hours advance notice. A box of Horshi's French kisses sits on the table. The underwear isn't edible, but it still looks chewed on. Now that's enthusiasm. Or just nervous energy. Or vermin. The floor of the apartment is littered with remnants of food, sex, and other assorted vices. Why, it's the Grand Tetons, of course. The woman on the bed looks joyless, overweight, sallow, and kind of mean. She's either a hooker or a nun. Holy cow. She's a hot mess without the heart. Um, how old are you anyway? Twenty-three. Her hair doesn't talk. It just sits there looking pretty-ish. You stare deeply into the hooker's eyes and speak from the heart. So, um, I don't suppose the last customer left any time on his meter. Sorry, hon. It all works that way. Do you do double coupons? Or competitors' coupons? Or anything with coupons? No. Too much paperwork. Come back next week when Katishu is here. They think she takes coupons. Who? Katishu! Katishu! Gesundheit. You offer a money-back guarantee? I guarantee complete satisfaction. Once. If you want to be completely satisfied again, we can talk about a bulk discount. Are you running any specials today? You'll miss this week's circular, honey. It's Teacher Appreciation Week. Half off for all our brave school teachers. You a school teacher? Not really. I sell software. Great. Another geek in the software industry. Hurry up, hon. After you and a couple other guys, it's time for a change of sheets. Let's talk about something else. Do we have So, laying down on the job, eh? Hey, in ballet and prostitution, they call this first position. I still want to get to know you better. You must live a fascinating life. Must I? What do you say I take you away from all of this? All of what? You and I could run away together. I could take you on a trip around the world. Sweetie, I do that 20 times a day. I'm sure I can make you happy. You want to make me happy? Do your business and get out. I've got fingernails that are overdue for a chewing. Okay, we get running away together. You must meet a lot of interesting people. I wouldn't know. So, if you do this for a living all day, do you actually enjoy sex? Yeah, yeah. It's great. It's terrific. You're the best I've ever had, blah, blah, blah. Okay? Now, can we get this show on the road? I guess that's all I wanted to know. What a fascinating life you must lead. Must I? 
let's get to know each other. I think it's important that we establish a rapport and really try to connect on an emotional level before we connect on a physical level. That should lead to greater satisfaction, don't you think? Why are you still talking? So, if you do this for a living... Yeah, it's good now. I guess that's... Must stop. Okay, I feel more comfortable with you now. So, let's get to it. Forgive me if I'm not as enthusiastic as you are. Her arms are her best feature. It's like she gets a lot of exercise or something. Say, baby, do those breasts go all the way down? You sweet talker. Wow. Just wow. Wow. She uses Garish number 42, chestnut scrub brush. You strip off your jacket. You strip off the rest of your clothes. You carefully guide the condom onto your tumescent little Larry. Smart man, now get Kraken. You hop into bed with the hook. Ooh. Yes. Yes. Nope. Although successful, you feel less than satisfied. Technically speaking, you're no longer a virgin, but for some reason, the thrill just wasn't there. You vow to continue your quest until you please your heart, not just your other organs. You put all your clothes back on. You smile shyly at the hooker. Was it good for you? Was what good for me? I mean, I thought we really connected in a way that goes beyond the usual... You know, I'm paying you, you're paying me kind of relationship. I'm paying you? Honey, you're lucky I paid attention. I was awake through almost that whole thing. So you didn't feel a spark? Oh, that. That's these sheets. I gotta start using fabric softener. Am I the best you've ever had, or just one of the best? Is there a third choice? You could at least tell me it was... I don't know. You were the first I've ever had. Was it at least poignant? Oh, yeah. Definitely. It was pointing here, it was pointing there, it was pointing all over the place. Have I ruined you for other men? Nah. You ruined my day, if that makes you feel any better. I probably had worse. I once accidentally had a dead guy. He might have been worse than you. Stop! You're giving me a swelled head! Yeah, you've promised me that before. Tell me more about how I did. Why? You were there. You saw the whole thing. I know I was great, but guys like validation. Oh, of course. Where are you parked? Um, you're not gonna put me in some little black book of customers, are you? Nah, they're not that organized. I only have one rule when it comes to keeping track of my customers. What's that? First in, first out. Thanks. I'll call you. Oh, God. God, no! Say, baby, do those breasts go all... News. 
That's the first breath I've smelled on any man since that video game players convention came through town. Ugh. 